I just heard uh, gunshots and thought it was the lads across the road um, with their bikes. I went upstairs and I looked out the window and the armed police were coming up the road and it was literally almost instantaneously they got here within minutes. Quite scary, really. This is the first time Dawn has felt ready to speak about what happened just outside her door. We couldn't come out of our houses unless uh, we asked and we had to be escorted down the road. One year ago, 22-year-old Jake Davison ended his killing spree, turning the gun on himself just a few metres from her home. As someone who's lived in Kiam for 45 years, she's seen her community rally. We had people knocking on our door asking if we needed help. We've had a lot of support. Five people were killed by Davison during the 12-minute attack, including three-year-old Sophie Martin and her father, Lee. It still plays on my mind, because I'll think of my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren, that's what I'll think about. They should remember what he done, especially to that little girl. A year on from the shooting, there are, of course, many who are still processing just what happened here. And at a series of ceremonies this weekend, there will be support on offer for those that want it. As well as a private church service, vigils will take place in Kiam and elsewhere in the city. Organisers say those impacted can always reach out for help. We are trying to do this as carefully as possible. Um, the city needs to show um, its respect and remember what happened. Uh, and people that have wanted to show their respects want and are welcoming a vigil. And some people won't attend any of it, and that's absolutely fine. So we wanted to do just enough. Davison was given back his firearms licence by Devon and Cornwall Police just weeks before the attack. The Independent Office for Police Conduct has completed its investigation into that decision. The findings will be published after inquests conclude next year. That aside, Friday will be a time for this community to reflect and remember those lost. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Plymouth.